Hellenic Navy is poised to significantly enhance its naval strength with the upcoming delivery of its fleet of Belhera-class frigates, a key milestone in Greece's broader defense modernization program. By the end of 2025, the Navy will take delivery of its third and final frigate, the HS Formion, marking the completion of an ambitious acquisition plan that will significantly bolster Greece's naval capabilities. Scheduled for launch on June 4, 2025 at the Naval Group Shipyard in Loria, France, the HS Formion will join its sister ships, HS Kimmon and HS Nurchos. This trio of advanced Belhera-class frigates is part of a larger modernization strategy to upgrade the country's naval fleet, which has been in development since 2021, following discussions between Greece and France. The first frigate, HS Kimmon, launched in October 2023, has faced some delays but is set to undergo rigorous outfitting and harbor trials before beginning its sea trials later this year. Initially expected in early 2025, its delivery is now scheduled for early 2026. This delay has provided an opportunity to integrate the ship's final upgrades in France, ensuring the vessel is delivered with a full range of advanced systems, including the Silver A-50 vertical launch system for Aster-30 missiles and a 21-cell Ram Block 2B launcher, avoiding post-delivery modifications. HS Formion, like its sister ships, will be outfitted with the latest Standard 2 configuration, equipped with the advanced Aster-30 surface-to-air missiles, offering the Hellenic Navy a highly capable air defense system. The upgrades represent a significant leap from the initial Standard 1 configuration, further bolstering the frigate's operational capabilities. An important part of the Belhera-class frigate's design is their ability to conduct comprehensive surveillance. To enhance these capabilities, Greece has procured five Shebel Camcopter S-100 Unmanned Aerial Systems UAS which will be deployed aboard the frigates. These systems will extend the range of the ship's surveillance capabilities, ensuring Greece's navy can monitor a broader area and maintain strategic control over the surrounding seas. The integration of these UAVs represents Greece's commitment to strengthening its intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR capabilities, a critical component of modern naval warfare. During a visit to Schiebel's facility in Austria, Greek Defense Minister Nikos Dendias observed a demonstration of the S-100, underscoring the strategic importance of this investment. To ensure that the Hellenic Navy is fully prepared to operate these sophisticated ships, a comprehensive training program is underway. Crews for the HS Kimmon have been stationed at the Loria shipyard for several months, with additional personnel scheduled to join in April 2025. Simultaneously, a training pipeline has been established in Greece for the crews assigned to the HS Nurchos and HS Formion. These efforts are part of Greece's broader initiative to ensure that its naval forces are fully equipped to operate the new frigates as soon as they are delivered. Looking ahead, there are plans for a fourth Kimmon class frigate, likely to be named the HS Themistocles, following the success of the three ships currently under construction. Negotiations for this vessel are in their final stages, with an announcement expected in April 2025. The new frigate, which is set for delivery by the end of 2028, will feature an enhanced weapon system, including the capability to launch the MDCN Scalp Naval cruise missile, capable of striking targets more than 1,000 kilometers away. The Belhara class frigates, also known as the Frigate de Defense ETD Intervention (FDI), represent a new era in Greece's naval capabilities. These ships are a significant upgrade from the older vessels they will replace and are designed to perform a wide range of tasks including air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and strike operations. With a displacement of 4,500 tons, a length of 122 meters, and a width of 17.7 meters, these frigates are built for endurance and versatility, capable of operating at speeds of up to 27 knots with a range of 5,000 nautical miles. The ships are equipped with state-of-the-art sensors, including the Thales Sea Fire Radar for 360-degree surveillance and the Kinklip Hull Sonar with Captas 4 Toad Array for anti-submarine operations. Moreover, Greece is in the process of equipping the vessels with advanced electronic warfare systems, enhancing their overall operational capabilities. The collaboration between Greece and France on the Belhera-class frigates has been mutually beneficial, with Greek companies playing an integral role in the supply chain. To date, 23 contracts have been signed with Greek firms, and more are expected in the future. This partnership supports the European Defense Industrial Base, creating jobs and fostering skills development in Greece. Greece's decision to procure the Belhera-class frigates was influenced by several factors, including the ship's modular architecture, rapid delivery timelines and compatibility with NATO systems. 
These vessels are expected to significantly enhance Greece's naval deterrence capabilities, positioning the country as a stronger player in the Mediterranean and beyond. In conclusion, Greece's investment in the Belhera class frigates marks a decisive step in modernizing its naval forces. With the HS Kimmin, HS Nurchos, and HS Formion scheduled for delivery in the next couple of years, and the potential for a fourth frigate, Greece is positioning itself to maintain a highly capable, versatile naval fleet well into the future. The enhanced surveillance, air defense, and strike capabilities of these vessels will ensure that the Hellenic Navy is well equipped to address the challenges of the modern maritime environment.